hi viewers welcome to my channel survey got easier for those who are just coming in for the first time this is survey got easier where you learn on how to use survey softwares and do well to subscribe to this channel before leaving this particular video in order for you not to miss out on our videos upload today i'm going to be sharing with you on how to create a template on agis now let me show you on how to create templates there are if you want to create templates is either you come to this place view you click on view and you click on layout view you can as well come to this place here you can click on layout view automatically and as soon as you click on layout view whatever you have on your data view is going to show on your layout view now this is our layout view and this is the template that is currently there all right so for you to work and edit any template of your choice what you simply need to do is to click on file and under the file we have page and print setup you click on page and print setup all right you're going to get this pop-up on the screen from this place here we have microsoft print to pdf and likes you can select printer if your system has a printer that you can see printer setup you can select printer automatically but in the cases whereby you don't have a printer maybe you want to do it on your system and you send it to a flash drive or anywhere you want to get it done it's fine it's all good and fine all right now working with this particular page setup this is the size that we can see we have different formats paper size we have letter we have a4 we have we have a3 and likes we have lega now this is map page setup and that's where i'm interested in this particular map page setup now if i don't want it to show the given the default all i simply need to do is to uncheck this and as soon as I, I uncheck this this is where i'm going to set my own map page setup that is what i want the software to give to me so this particular standard size i'm going to change it this to whatever i want in the cases maybe i'm going to be using a1 as an example so i'm going to be working with a1 depending on how you want the size of the work you are doing how you want it to be visible how you want it to be legible for visibility we have a zero a1 a2 and like so i'm going to be using a1 now as soon as i select a1 you can see it's going to show you bring the width and the height of that particular paper size and on this place here you click on scale map elements proportional to changes in paper size you check it in so automatically as soon as you check it in it's going to enter the centers of whatever you have and you click what you click on ok now this is it here this is the map on the screen you can see the frame to beautify the map you can utilize the insert menu Starting with what? Start, starting with type 2. Let me just name this title as what? A map. Now, this is what I name it as. When you select this now, you can change whatever you want. Click on change settings. Then give it any color of your choice. You can change the color to any color of your choice. You can change the text height. You can bold it. You can give it underline whatever you write on it you can change the size and likes and uh, when you are done you click ok and you click ok when i'm done with that i'm going to come back to insert and then i'm going to give it other things like legend if i wanted to uh, carry my legend this whatever you have under your layer is what you have as legend you just select it and you click on next 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 to you have your legend on the map display so this is our legend like i've said earlier on whatever you have under your layer is what will be displayed on the legend as you can see we also come back to insert we give it not arrows not arrows we have different type of not arrows you can definitely select any type of not arrows that you are interested in and use then you click ok now this is the not arrows this particular not arrows you can zoom it and give it colors of your choice 
by double clicking and you click on colors you can give it colors not arrows But we also have some informations like if you want to use other things like NIT. NIT is well when you have a title and you want NIT to be a background under whatever you've written, you can use NIT for that. What I'm saying in SS is that let me quickly bring out the test values for you. This is a test now. Where this is a test value. Let me uncheck this to see my test for what I'll bring into the screen. Now this is my test value. Let me drag it out here. Because it's very tiny, it's not usually easy for someone to see. So this particular test now let me just write let me write map of an area then I'm going to alight I am going to give bold it map of an area bold it and I'll click OK now this is it here map of an area now this particular map of an area that I'll be working with if this is where the work of NIT comes in, if you want to use NIT now, when I click on NIT, before I click on it, you have to have select wherever you want to NIT. So now insert, under insert, and then I'll click on NIT. So you can use any color for your NIT, any background color, you can select any background for your color for your NIT. But eventually, I want to use this particular background color and I'll click OK. Now you can see this is where the work of NIT comes in. It's going to give the whatever you've written, and that's the work of NIT. That is how to utilize your NIT. You can see the map has been beautified. I've continued beautifying the, the map. We also have the scale bar and the scale test. After you are done setting the template of your work, the next thing for you to do is to export out the map of what you designed the template. And for you to get that done, all you simply need to do is to come back to your file. You click on file and you come to this place, export, you click on export. As soon as you click on export, you are going to have this on the screen here. We have several formats, save as, you can see save as. We have, it can be saved as different formats. We have PDF, SVG, JPEG, PNG, TIF, among others. Now, we have resolution. This particular resolution depends on how quality you want the resolutions to be. Let me just use 500 as my resolution and I'm going to use save as JPEG, then I'll give it name.